Right now we have a network of 50,000 creators around the globe and we're in 140 uh, countries. We use crowdsourcing to produce the videos. So we'll go to a brand or a client. Uh, we oftentimes also go to agencies the same way. And what we'll do is uh, solicit their business. They give us a creative brief. We distribute that creative brief to our 50,000 creators. On average, I'd say somewhere around three or 400 will get excited about doing a spot. And what they'll do then is they'll uh, take a stab at the creative brief, uh, start production. They're working on spec. Uh, they're really uh, taking advantage of the opportunity of doing some video work for a Fortune 100 company. They'll spend about 30 to 45 days producing the video. And the video could be any length. You know, it could be uh, 30 seconds, 60 seconds, whatever. Uh, they deliver and upload all of the finished videos. Now, a lot of them will drop out along the way, so we net out with about 50 commercials that come in at the end of the assignment. We review them for appropriateness, turn them over to the brand, let them pick whichever ones they think are most appropriate. Now, keep in mind, they're all written directly to a one specific creative brief, so there'll be some similarities, but you'll get 50 different creative executions on the same idea. When their work is selected, they're paid on average about $10,000, uh, which covers not only their cost, but uh, certainly builds in a good profit. And then they've just sold a commercial to a company like Procter & Gamble or Nestle or Unilever. Uh, it's, it's not for everybody. We have some creators who will try one or two and just uh, drop out at that point. But for the most part, uh, small boutique agencies, which are a large part of our production group, uh, can earn a pretty good living just by doing pop 10 assignments. The vast majority of the videos that are produced for by our creative community for our brands and for our agencies are 30-second traditional television-like commercials. Now, that doesn't mean they're all running on television. About 80% of them probably are running online, uh, which is a perfect venue for these spots. But we do also the 15s. We do the one-minute pieces. We do the testimonials. We do the how-tos. And they can vary in length. Uh, but the key is they're all video. Uh, the difference is we give the brand or agency a whole bunch to choose from instead of just one. And they have the luxury of being able to see different approaches to the same message and pick the one that's most appropriate for them. And finally, it's about 80% uh, uh, about less expensive than if you were going to use a traditional agency. We were approached by Danon last year back in July uh, they came to us and said, look, we, we're finally going to do a Super Bowl ad for our Oikos yogurt. Uh, we're very excited about it. We have John Stamos as the actor. Uh, we'd really like for you guys to take a stab at it. Uh, we can't guarantee you that we'll, we'll give you the business, but give it a shot. We went out and did a, uh, an assignment where we let our creators take a stab at it. We told them to use a stand-in for John Stamos, but to write a 30-second commercial that would be appropriate for the Super Bowl. Uh, we got back, uh, you know, maybe 40 or 50 great videos to consider. Uh, Dan and actually put them into research along with a couple of other spots that were provided by their lead agency. At the end, the result was two of our spots outperformed all of the others that were in the competition. So they decided to move forward with us. We went into a set production shoot with the original director who came up with the best idea and then brought in John Stamos for a one-day shoot. And that commercial made it to the Super Bowl. In fact, it was in the top 10 ratings of the most liked commercials. I think what we're seeing right now is a dramatic increase in folks who are just looking for content. You know, do a piece of video that shows what the best three features are on the new Canon camera, and they'll distribute that piece of video content all over the network. Uh, it'll be on blogs. It'll be on their website. It'll be on their Facebook page. And it's oftentimes unbranded content, but it gets the message across, and it shows an advocacy for their product, which they love. Uh, that's the fastest growing area of our business right now. Our core will continue to be commercials for the time being. Uh, but I see that's where the growth's going to be. There's just an explosion in interest for content. And let's face it, traditional agencies cannot produce that type of content cost efficiently. What's happening right now are web com or companies that are using the web are being forced to videoize all of their traditionally black and white copy that was in their website. So it all has to be converted into video. It's going to help them with their rank, uh, with getting people to notice them. You know, the Google al algorithm for search right now is heavily influenced by how much video you have on your site. 
So we're seeing across the board companies uh, just coming out of the woodwork looking to videoize their website. Every company I've ever dealt with is uh, focused on it right now. And agencies that are supplying that video content and using production companies like Pop Tent are really filling the void so that we could speed that along. We received, uh, actually it was five and a half million from MK Capital, one of the more respected investment firms. Uh, we were thrilled with their level of participation. This is the second time around for them. Uh, they were our original funding source. Uh, we're going to use those funds for a couple of things. One is we're really just trying to expand our presence. So we need to staff up for the volume. So we need to find talented community people, client service people, tech people to continue to evolve the website and the features that we offer. We're also, though, looking at international opportunities. We also have a need to let more people know who POP10 is. Uh, so we'll be putting a, a chunk of that money into aggressive marketing and awareness.